pocket book with regards to treatment and assessment. Like I've been saying the whole weekend, pain on palpation is not a useful finding. People have pain in the exact same areas on every person. There's always a painful spot here. There's always a painful spot here. There's always pain in their suboccipital. Palpating someone in a static position looking for pain is not going to tell you anything about that person's condition. You have to correlate pain on palpation with symptomatology. So you have to say, is this reproducing the symptoms? And even if it is reproducing the symptoms, you have to correlate that with some component of movement. So you have to correlate the pain on palpation with some degree of fascial fibrosis or tension or lack of inter or intralayer sliding. Or else you're just doing little painful points in your treatments. And I'll tell you right now, most times you get someone uh, prone and you're just palpating, if you go in here, pain. If you go in here, pain. You're going to be treating the exact same thing on every single patient. Okay? These are normal areas. If we went by this diagnosis method of just poking around, we would all be diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Because I can find pain below the waist, I can find pain above the waist all the time. So pain on palpation, not a fine Pain on palpation, reproducing symptoms in accordance with a fascial restriction or a movement block, that is a fine.